So now in the previous video we discussed about various uh, states of a process. Now in this video we are going to discuss about what are the different cues the operating system maintains uh, to solve the process. Uh, sorry, to uh, execute a process. So you can say these all are called as scheduling cues. What are the different scheduling cues which the OS operating system maintain? Okay, which the operating system maintain? So the first scheduling queue, the first queue is called as a job queue. Is called as the job queue, and this job queue actually maintains all the processes which uh, are in the ready state. Sorry, uh, which needs to be executed, and then from this we take the processes from the job queue. These processes are actually in secondary memory. Uh, uh, not okay anyways then we take this process and take them to the ready queue there is something called as ready queue there is something called as ready queue and from this ready queue we can take a process and we execute the process inside the CPU we execute the process inside the CPU so from this ready queue uh, the process can go to the suspended queue so we can say a process can go to the suspended state or you can say here we have suspended queue and from the suspend queue to again go back to the ready queue and uh, when a process is executing inside the CPU if a process is executing inside the CPU so uh, the process may require to do some kind of input output therefore the process will go to the blocked state the process will go to some blocked state and from this blocked state the process is currently doing input output IO and as soon as this input output is finished so IO completion you can say as soon as this IO is finished IO completion IO completion then process can again go back to the ready state the process can again go back to the ready state and if for example some some kind of event is there so to maintain the event we have event queue event queue and when this event occurs the event can be anything for example mouse click or something right or key button press or key press or something right so if this event occurs so after the completion of this event again the process can go to the ready queue we can also have uh, some, uh, something related to the timer and the priority timer expires timer or priority issue for example we have scheduling algorithm like short term scheduler or we have priority based scheduling algorithm or we have time quantum uh, that is round robin if the time quantum expires or or the high one higher priority process is coming to execute inside the CPU then we'll take the process out of the CPU and then again put the process in the ready queue again put the process in the ready queue and if we have something called as fork command we have something called as fork system command that we will discuss what is a fork system command and again from that we put the process inside the ready queue so these are the various queues which we maintain and after the completion the process can go to the termination state the process can go to the termination state the process can go to the termination state right so here i already told you that there's a short term scheduler which takes care of this uh, of taking a process from the ready state to the cpu okay okay fine uh, let us discuss about the process control block now See, you just have to remember all these states, all these queues which are there and um, I think the, that's good enough uh, for as, as of now. 